morning! Happy to be with you! Good morning, kids! Welcoming you to CSMC Kids Sunday School. Preaching to save, teaching to serve. Kids, God has given us such a great day today. Do you agree with me? Hoping you are having a great time while you are at home. Today's lesson is about Gideon. And I know he is not so familiar to us, but he's also one of God's people. But before we get to know Gideon, let us sing first a praise song, I've got joy, joy, joy down in my heart. I've got joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. I've got a joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart to stay. And I'm so happy, so very happy. I have the love of Jesus in my heart. And I'm so happy, so very happy. I have the love of Jesus in my heart. I've got the love of Jesus, love of Jesus down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. I've got the love of Jesus, love of Jesus down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart to stay. And I'm so happy, so very happy. I have the love of Jesus in my heart. And I'm so happy, so very happy. I have the love of Jesus in my heart. Thank you kids for singing with us. Shall we pray? Ang saan galito magpray? Ipapak ang kamot, ibutang sa dugan, iduko ang ulo, ipiyong ang mata. Let us pray. Loving God, Loving God, we thank you. We thank you for being with us. For being with us this morning. This morning we pray. We pray that we will learn. That we will learn a lot. A lot from your word today. From your word today. Bless our Sunday school teachers. Bless our Sunday school teachers. Families. Families. Friends. Friends. And our frontliners. And our frontliners. May your blessing. May your blessing. And guidance. And guidance. Be in us. Be in us. Always. Always. This we pray. This we pray. In Jesus Christ's name. In Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Amen. Kids, our story for today is about a very brave man named Gideon. He led 300 men in order to protect his people. And of course, God was with him. Ati Marisa Kanisha will tell you a story to us in our... Story Time! Yay! Hi children! Good morning! Kumusta naman mo? Gimingaw na kog pamadlong ninyo. <laughs> uh, Bitaw children, since layo man ta sa usag-usa, uh, dun ako'y story nga i-share ninyo. So, ang title sa story nga akong i-share is Gideon and His 300 Men. Okay. The Bible tells us that there was an event long ago that the people of Israel doing evil things in the sight of the Lord. So the Lord gave them to the Midianites for seven years. So ang mga Midian hon, mga ma-influensya nga tao or mga dato niya, daghan kaayo sila. Maungang mga Israelita na nago sa, nga, sa mga langob o uban pang dapit sa kabungturan. Ang mga Israelita didto sa Israel na nanom unya na muhi sa do sila og mga kahayupan para duna sad silay makaon. Unya kining mga Midianhon og mga Amalekanhon og uban pang mga tao sulungo nila og panguhaon nila ang tanan nilang makit-an nga mga abot or mga hayupan sa mga Israelita. Dili jud in town sila binlan bisan og gamay. So sila na hinuon mao walay makaon. So guol kaayo ang mga uh, mga Israelita tungod kay 
of course, gutumon sila. Kaya man sila na mga pagkaon kay panguhaon man. So, kining mga medianhon, nagkamp or nagkampo sila dito sa Israel, kauban nila ang ilang mga baka o mga tulda. Tulda means katong mga tent. Nag-tent sila dito sa Israel. Kunya, daghan kaayo sila. Sila o ang ilang mga kamelyo, dili maihap. No, so perte gudi ang daghana kay di gudi ay maihap. So now, the Israelites had the real struggle for existence. No, so the rich people became poor and the poor people became destitute. Kana wala na sila'y mapanginabuhian. So Israel has the nation was property was stricken. So ang mga Israelita affected na kaayo sila. And they cry to the Lord to deliver them from the miserable existence. So, um, nangayo sila o pakitabang sa ginoo nga luwason sila dito. Then, we read in the Bible that the family of Gideon was one of the poorest in Israel. And Gideon was, one, and Gideon was the youngest son. That according to custom made him the less important no e, dili siya importanting tao tungod kay well, of course kana pobre ra siya ana ba so Gideon was used to taking orders into plenty of hard work so when Gideon was told by an angel of the Lord that God has chosen him to deliver Israel from the Midianites Gideon reaction what was of course masak siya. So niya na siya me. I'm supposed to deliver my people from the Midianites. So Gideon made sure that it wasn't a mistake. So iya jung gisure nga wa na sayup ang angel sa pagsulti diha niya. Then Gideon explained to the angel that his family was poor and being the youngest son. He wasn't an important person at all. So yung giingan ng angel nga, dili man in town siya, pobre man in town ka ayos sila niya. Siya isip siya ang kinamanghuran, so dili siya importante nga tao. Tungod lagi kay pobre. But the angel told Gideon, no mistake has been made. So ningo ng angel, wak minasayup oy. So Gideon was the one God has chosen, and God would help him if he would do what. He was told. So, gingnan siya sa angel, wa sila na sa yob, siya jud ang gipili sa ginoo nga mutabang sa mga Israelita. Tabangan siya sa ginoo kung iyang tumanon, kung iyang tumanon, kung unsa isulti sa ginoo diha niya. Or ipabuhat. So, on the basis of his personal faith in God, Gideon started to work. So, nagsugod ng trabaho si Gideon. The first thing Gideon did sa o ang una jung gibuhat ni Gideon was nag-organize the organize the men of Israel and get them ready to fight so nag nag-form siya or nangita siya og mga tao so nga pwede makig batok sa mga Midianhon so nakagathered siya og 32,000 men but God said that was too many Ningo ng ginuusos, kadaghan ba na, oy? So si Gideon, iyang gistorya ang iyang mga tao. O giingnan nga, kinsa tong, gust, kinsa tong mahadlok makig-away, pwede sad mo nga mo uli. Katong gusto nga makig-away, or mo fight, nga to sa mga median hon, pabilin lang mo. So, when Gideon gave his man a choice of whether to fight or not to fight, many of his men left the camp. So, nang hawa sila dito sa camp, even though they knew that God had promised victory to their leader. So, bisan pa, o katong mga tauhan na nakahibaw nga, gipramisan sa ginoo si Gideon nga, tabangan siya nga, nga, mudaog sila, um, gipili gihapon nila nga manguli. Because they knew also that the Midianites outnumbered them for that one. So Gideon's new army was much smaller than before. 
yet it was stronger. So, gamay na lang sila, pero strong pag ihapon kayo ang ilang grupo. These men were not afraid to fight. No, katong, kunong, katong mga nahabilin, di ito mahadlok mo fight. Of course, kay nasayod man sila, natabangan sila sa ginoo. Now, Gideon had only 10,000 men. So, 10,000 na lang ang iyahang tao. And God alone knew how much a small army could conquer an enemy far more than 10,000 times their numbers. So, Gideon was beginning to realize the true meaning of trust in God. So, na-realize na ni Gideon kung unsa o niya pag-trust diha sa ginoo. But God was preparing another test. So, nag-prepare na sa buglain test ang ginoo diha kang Gideon. So, for Gideon's faith and when Gideon talked to the Lord about the size of his army, he got a surprising answer. The Lord said, was 10,000 men was still so many. So, daghan paghihapon kayo ang 10,000 man, men nga nahabilin. So, there was only one thing for Gideon to do and that was to trust and obey. So, um, bisan giingan siya nga daghan paghihapon kayo. So, ang iyang gibuhat mo, trust lang yun siya o musunod siya sa ginoo. Gideon brought his men down to the water and told them to drink. So, iyang gidaang iyang mga tao dito sa tubig o giingnan nga pain nun. Most of the men bow down their knees and drink. Right, and drink right out to the stream and the Lord told Gideon to put this man aside in one group. So, ang mga tao niya nang inom sa tubig dito sa stream ang uban ng luhod. Okay niya. 300 men lop the water from their hands and the Lord said by the 300 men that lop will I save you so ang mga tao ang ubang ang 300 kabuok ng katao um, niinom dito sa tubig nagigamit ang kamot nagiana ba niya din gi, gi kaos nga to tubig o giinom ang tubig So, katok niingon ang ginoo nga, katuginan niya si Gideon nga, katong ni gamit sa kamot, pagkuha sa tubig aron im nun, mautoy iyang luwason. No, onya, and deliver the Midianites into thy hand. And so, and let the other go. Katong wala ni gamit sa ilang kamot, papauli on. So, ang mauto, ang nahabilin is 300. Kaya mauman to sila ni gamit sa ilahang kamot pag inom sa tubig. Now, Gideon would face would face unbelievable odds no so one thing one thing was clear unless the lord will perform the miracle Gideon and his 300 men were facing certain death no kay of course gamay ra kay sila nya makigaway sila sa median hon nga perting daghana di ba so in a camp in the median nights midnight hour was the time for changing the guards So, it was a noisy affair and that provided a wonderful opportunity for Gideon. So, mag-ilis to. So, kung tungang gabi, mag-ilis o mga guard ang mga median hon. So, mauto na, mauna to ang opportunity ni Gideon para maka-form sa iyahang gustong buhaton. While the Midianites were changing guards, Gideon and his men carried out the first part of their plan. And as far as the Midianites' guard were concerned, there was no one surrounding their camp in the emptiness of the night air. So, comfortable la ang mga Midian hon kay um kwan ra kayo kanang tahimik ra kayo ang palibot walay gubot no so okay ra kayo wala wala sila nag worry. So little did they realize that Gideon and his men were stealing through the darkness on a very peculiar mission. So, uh, later na nila na-realize niya kay nga silang Gideon ka nang nasiligi buhat ato nga mga sa kangit ato nga mga panahuna nga bisag ngit-ngit kayo no. So, uh, doon na sila yung mga kahibulungang gibuhat. Ano ba? So, ilang mission is uh, the 
carrying a pitcher in one hand, nag-carry ang nag-carry og pitcher ang ilang left hand, ang ilang right hand nag-carry og trumpet. And hidden within every pitcher, nakatago dito sa tanan nga pitcher ang torch or the lighted firebrand. No, nakatago dito sa pitcher. And ready na, ready na panan at last every man was in position waiting for the signal from Gideon ready to do as exactly as their leader command them no so ready na kaayo ang 300 men Gideon blow his trumpet and he broke his pitcher so si Gideon gi blow niya ang iyang trumpet o giyang gibuak ang iyang pitcher and he held high his torch and and cried the son of the Lord and the Gideon. Mo to yung gishagit. Nishagit siya atong kusog kayo. So, and all around the camp of the Midianite guards, and all around the camp, most of the gibuhat sa mga army, or the 300, katong 300 kabuog, ilas ang gisunod kung unsay gibuhat ni Gideon. Ilas ang gi Giblow ilang trumpet og ilang gibuak ilang pitcher og ni shout sa silag the son of the lord and the gideon mao pud ilahang gishagit and so ang mga midianites nga guard na na nakuyawan no nakuyawan kay kadlaw i mean tungang gabi igo dunya ngit-ngit kayo ni kalit lang og tingog so na shock ito sila so in a matter of seconds there was fear and confusion in the camp of the Midianites. They have thought that they were surrounded by a great army. So, nagtuo sila, taghan na kayong army, nakapalibot nila, so nashock sila. So, the Midianites were panic, like a wild animals, they began to stampede. So, nagpanic sila, nang gawa sigurito sila, nagdinaganay, so nagbanggaanay na sila. So suddenly, gubot kito sila to. So suddenly, in the midst of all this confusion, Gideon men blow loud and long on their horns again. Ila na sang bis na kagubot ang mga Midianites. Ila na sang gi blow ang ilahang trumpet. No gi pasaw gi pakus gi gi blow nila kusog kayo nya dugay kayo. Then a strange thing happened. In the army of the Midianites, every man turned blindly on his neighbor and began to fight one another. For the Lord caused it to happen. So, gitugot sa ito sa ginoo nga mahitabo na ang mga Midian ho nag-away-away na sila na ang nag-away-away sa matag-usa. No? So, gitugot to sa ginoo, mauto ang iyahang help diha ni Gideon sa ilahang pagpakigbatok sa mga Midian ho. So Gideon drove the Midianites clear out of the land and they never and they never came back again and the Lord gave them a tremendous victory. So mautoy gihatag or gihatag sa Ginoo nila dako kaayo nga kadaugan to Gideon because he believed that God alone is enough to do it. Diba? So God alone bisan sa ilang kagamay kung giubanan sila sa ginoo sa ilaha nga gibuhat gialaw to sa ginoo nila so na, sila nagmadaugon kay ni Saligman si Gideon nga tabangan siya sa ginoo so Gideon learned that if God has something to tell or any concern to us we should believe because there is nothing impossible for our God. So, wala joy imposible sa ginoo. No, diha kung tabangan ta niya, kung iya ta sultian nga iya ta tabangan, mutuo jud ta because there is nothing impossible for God. So, children, remember in Philippians 4 verse 13, nagingon, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And that's the end of our story. Um, 
Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. And see you soon. Um, keep safe, children, and stay home. God bless you all. Bye! Kids, I know you love the story of Gideon. Now for our memory verse, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Philippians 4.13 Again, shall we say it together? I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Philippians 4.13 I do hope that you will memorize our memory verse. And now, it's time for Creatives with Ate Pippin. Hi kids, let's enjoy doing our crafts today. I know you love to do arts. Do them well today and please send a picture to us of your crafts. We we'll love to look at them too. Enjoy! Hi kids, it's craft time! Since our story is about Gideon and his 300 men, we will make a soldier helmet. And if you like to make a sword too, there's a lot of videos in YouTube on how to make a sword and a shield. For our materials, we will need cardboard, glue, stapler, a red paper, scissor, and silver paint. If you don't have silver paint, you can replace it with silver duct tape or gray color paper. There's a recap of list of materials on the video from kidspot.com. Be brave, be creative, and have fun! song let us sing I've got joy down in my heart I've got joy down in my heart deep deep down in my heart J-O-Y down in my heart deep deep down in my heart Jesus gave it to me and no one can destroy it destroy Destroy! Whoops! I've got joy down in my heart Deep, deep down in my heart Again! I've got joy down in my heart Deep, deep down in my heart 
let us pray, kids. Again, unsa ang ganito mag-pray? Ipakpak ang kamot, ibutang sa dughan, idoko ang ulo, ipiyong ang mata. Gracious God, we thank you for being with us today in our Sunday school class. We pray for your guidance and protection, praying that we will be brave and courageous like Didion. We know you will be with us also. Bless everyone, O God. This we pray in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Amen. Our Sunday school is over and we have learned so much. Goodbye, goodbye. Be always kind and good. Bye-bye, kids. See you next Sunday. God bless you.